about anti-natalism hey guys it's benedictines the vegan imagine being addicted to something and that something is all that you know you don't know anything else other than that something that you're addicted to and then someone comes and tell you that that thing that you're addicted to that thing that you think is good it's not how are you going to feel how are you going to feel how do i know is an anti-natalist that what you are addicted to is wrong how do i know that this world is not good how do i know that this world is not worth it i mean that is philosophically challenging I mean, these questions that I've just asked are challenging philosophically. How do, how do I know? I don't know anything other than this. I mean, I do, I do dream. Dreams um, as real as they last. Because when I'm in a dream, um, I think I'm experiencing reality just like when i'm here i think i'm experiencing reality right so how do i know that this is not a positive thing to experience how do i know that this is not a positive dream to have Um, let me, let me ask you this question. Let's just say, um, all, all game designers, all great game designers decided to come together and create, um, a simulation. They, 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 they decided to come together to create the best game ever which is uh which will be a simulation of this reality but with different rules and people just automatically get sucked into that game let me say randomly actually you just find yourself in that game or let me say when you die you actually find yourself in that game you cannot choose whether you don't want to be in that game or not. You just, when you die, you just find yourself in that game. And when you do things that do not contribute to the uh, survival of the game, you feel pain. But when you do things that uh, ensure the survival of the game you feel good would you say um it's a good game would you say that it's immoral would you say that it's moral would you say that it's good for people to get sucked into their game without their consent I mean, answer this question honestly. Would you say, would you honestly say that that is a good thing? People should get sucked into that game and they should play it. Because there will be people who will love the game. That is a fact. There will be people who will be like, yo, I enjoyed this, man. You know, in order to win in this game, you have to do one, two, three. Hear how the rules are. People like Jordan Peterson. Will say will be saying something like that, not, uh, like yo, you, you know, it's 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 a complicated game. Get over it. What you need to do is to improve your life in this game, and you have to do one, two, three. There will be people like that. 
but what I'm asking you is that is it moral for people to get sucked into that game without their consent? Because that's where the problem is. And that's what most people are not understanding about antinatalism. Even if it is a good game, if a person did not choose to play it, it's immoral for them to be forced to play it. You get what I'm saying? Consent is very important. You must understand that you cannot get consent from someone before they are born. And you are bringing them into this game. You're bringing them into this game. And they find themselves addicted to things. They find themselves having desires and needs. And automatically, because they are not very conscious when they are young, they will just want those things that they desire when they feel hungry they want food when they feel thirsty they want water and they'll they're gonna grow up like that assuming that it's a positive experience because there are things that make me feel good and i just have to do things that make me feel good i i, I know that if i don't feel good if I feel thirsty, I should go get water. If I feel hungry, I should go get food. So people never get to really ask themselves if really this is a good game. But when you look at it the way that I've shown you, you understand that it's not a good game. Because people are not here by choice. That is very important. And you might say, what if people did choose to be here and they forgot? You see, that's something that um, I used to say to internetalists before I became an internetalist. Because I, I became child-free first before I became an internetalist. I just knew that I'm not going to have children for philosophical reasons. I knew the world was messed up. So I was like... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring anyone into this piece of shit planet. I'm not gonna bring anyone into this piece of shit world. No fucking way, dude. You know, it ends with me. That's it. Uh, I I can see that something is wrong. I'm not gonna bring anyone here. I'm not gonna be an idiot. But I was like, you know what? People should have children. I mean, who gives a fuck if they wanna have children. It's not on my business. I was like, um Russell Brand. He said this on the Joe Rogan experience. He said, My morality is for me. If someone else doesn't want to be vegan, you know, it's on them. My morality is for me. I'm vegan. I'm going to do the right thing. I was like that. But when you really think about it, it's pretty selfish. Because here yeah, we're dealing with beings that are selfish. I mean, uh, that are sentient. You know, vegans are, prote are trying to protect beings that are sentient, right? As a vegan, the, the, the reason why I became vegan is because I want to protect the animals. You see? That, that's what made me become vegan. It's not because I don't... Uh, or it's not because like meat makes me sick or anything like that. It's because I don't like how animals are being treated. I think it's very evil, and it is. I don't just think it is. I know that it is very evil. So, if I just say my morality is for me, as long as I'm doing the right thing, it's it's completely backwards. You know? It's completely backwards. And that's what I was not realizing about antinatalism. Remember, I'm not having children for philosophical reasons. I, I know that the world is fucked up. But I'm saying, well, other people can have children. Do you see how wrong I am? I mean, when other people have children, the children are still going to suffer. And some of them are going to realize just how fucked up this game is. And they're going to wish that they were never born. You see? They're going to wish that they were never born. So how is it a moral thing to bring someone into this game?
someone into this world. If you are not an internationalist, please tell me. Please try to answer this. Because I don't think you can. I don't think Jordan Peterson can answer this. I was watching his uh, debate with uh, Bennett uh, and dude. He usually wins debates, this guy, but he got crushed. He was like, what the fuck? Because I don't even think Bennett is, is, is that good at debating. But he crushed him. Because what he's saying is the truth, right? You can't you can debate the truth. That's it. You just can't debate the truth. It's that simple. How, how do you even begin to debate the truth? The truth is that you are born addicted. It's like being born addicted to crack and you just think crack is good. Because you are born addicted to it. But is it? You love it, it makes you feel good. But is it good? You see? Just because you are born addicted to these things doesn't mean that they are good at all. You have to look at this objectively. The same way that um, I made you look at the game that I was talking about, that simulation that I was talking about, I'm sure that you 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 know that it's immor it will be immoral for people to get sucked into that game, you know, without their consent, especially if they forget that they were in another world and they just got sucked into that game. Because they would just think it's a good game. I mean, if you just get sucked into that world and you didn't, you didn't love this world, you you easily realize that uh, it's a fucked up game. I didn't want to be part of this game. They just created it because they think life is good and we must continue to exist and whatever. Antinatalism is the truth. It's the most truthful philosophy ever. It's 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 very hard to really understand antinatalism. If if someone just came to you, if you've never like really thought about not having children, if someone came to you and said having kids is immoral, what what are you gonna think? You you're gonna think they're crazy, right? You're going to think that crazy. Because that's kind of what I thought. Like, it was too... Like, for me, it was too radical. That like everyone should not have children. No. Like, it... But when you really, really, really think about it, you end up realizing that it makes complete sense. You know? It makes complete sense. But... We are hardwired for survival. We are so hardwired for survival that anything that threatens our survival, we're supposed to think is bad. You see? We know that this world is fucked up when people that are supposed to be villains, when people, where people, people who are supposed to be bad are the ones that are speaking the truth. I, I, I was talking a lot about Charles Manson yesterday on the video that i uploaded yesterday he's supposed to be the bad guy but he's, he's just speaking the truth you never hear a president speaking that kind of truth it's not it's not how it works they're programmed to lie i was watching this um at a report that works for cnn <laughs> this this reporter went to the Joe Rogan experience and um, they were talking about um, the vaccines and they lied about Joe Rogan. I think they said, uh, I don't remember what they said, but they lied and he proved that they lied. When I was listening to that guy talk, it was like watching a robot talk. It was like he was programmed. It was like he was not alive. It was like he doesn't have a soul. He's not a real human being. Because what he was saying just didn't make sense. It it was it seemed as if he was programmed to convince some people who with low intelligence that he was right or something. 
He lacked creativity in his thinking. He was not thinking outside the box at all. And that's how, you know, the mainstream media is. It's full of those kind of people. And that's how politics are. You know, there's, there's no truth. So this is how you know that the world is fucked up. When you watch movies, the villains are the ones that make sense. The heroes to, are, are the ones that be saying all the things that seem good. But when you look deeper, you end up you end up realizing that actually the heroes are not the good guys here. In many movies, you end up realizing that. We're just trying to protect this lie. So we make it seem as if the truth is, is messed up. The truth is not good. Think about it, man. Think about it. I've said this many times. I said, the truth is going to get you in trouble. The truth is going to get you in trouble. If you really want to maintain the relationships that you have in your life, do not speak the truth. Any truth. Don't speak the truth. What you need to do is to lie. Like it's the, the healthiest thing now is to just lie. The truth is toxic. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? That's that's the absolute truth. So that's how you know that this is not a positive experience because it's based on a lie. And someone might ask, how well, how do I know that the lie is bad? I mean, that's still a valid question when we look at it philosophically. Like, why is truth important? Why is truth more important than lies? You see, that's 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 a valid question. And I would say, we, as a collective society, claim that we want the truth. You see? So, we are the ones that um, determine what's important. And the truth is important. We, we say we want the truth. It's just that when we hear the truth, because it's so uncomfortable, we think... It's evil, you see? We think it's 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 not right. We think something is wrong with it. But it's not. We just want beautiful lies. Because we want to feel comfortable. But we, we say we want the truth because we know the truth is important. It's just that the truth makes us feel uncomfortable. So that's how I know that this is not a positive experience. Because it's based on the lies. based on manipulation. Um, all kinds of relationships are based on a lie. You, you can't speak the truth, you know. You can't speak the truth where you work. You can't speak the truth on YouTube, you know. And you might say, well, anti-natalism is true and you're speaking the truth. Like, dude, I do believe that there's going to be a point where anti-natalism becomes a big thing in the world and they're going to start deleting videos of people who talk about antinatalism. I do believe that's what that's what's gonna happen because it's gonna be threatening the existence of this lie. We can't speak the truth in this world, dude. It's it's a lie. Every everything about it is a lie. Everything about it is upside down. You know? So yeah man, antinatalists are right, you know, there's there's just nothing that you can say against antinatalism. I just, I just think um, it's just hard for many people to really understand why they should not bring people here. But once you really talk to them, they they do get it. They do get it. It's just that when you're addicted to something, if you are addicted to a lie, you just be like, I mean, it's kind of fun. Right? It's kind of fun for me to be doing these things. I mean, what else do I have? Just like Jordan Peterson said on this other video. In this other video, you remember when I was talking about him, he said this in this other video. He said, well, what else should I do? Like, well, what else should married couple just do? I mean, there isn't much to do, so they should have children. He said something like that. You see? People are just bored, man. They don't know what the fuck to do. And because they're programmed to ensure the survival of this lie, then they're gonna they're gonna reproduce. And like I said, I said this. 
I said, this, 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 you should know that it's a lie when you are being persuaded into um, perpetuating it. Dude, look at how the drive to, how powerful the drive to reproduce is. Just look at how powerful it is. It's, you are compelled to breathe. You are compelled. That's how you know that there's something wrong. You, 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 you know what? People don't have children because they'll be chilling and thinking, man, I want kids. And, and here, here are the reasons why I want kids. People don't even have reasons. They just want to feel good and it feels good to them. It feels good to have sex. Um, in fact, let me start here. It feels good to fall in love. It, it feels good to see some someone attractive, to fall in love with, with them, to have sex with them, and to have kids with them. All of it is just chemical reactions. There's no logic to it. It's not like you can objectively say, nah, having kids is a positive thing because of one, two, three, or having sex is a positive thing because of one, two, three, or being addicted, I mean, being attracted to this person is a positive thing because of one, two, three. It's not. None of it is. None of it is. If you are woke, you end, you end up realizing that. It's, it's that simple. You're not choosing some people because they're better than some people. You, you're just attracted to them. It's that simple. You're attracted to them and it has everything to do with evolution. You see, as a guy, you're attracted to beautiful women because you're supposed to reproduce with beautiful women. It's... It's evolution, I guess. I know people who treat people who are not attractive very badly. And it's usually people who are not woke. In fact, it's not usually people who are not woke. It's people who are not woke. I've seen them treat people who are not attractive very badly. And I was like, ain't no way I'm coming back to this piece of shit planet. These motherfuckers are fucking horrible, man. They have no compassion whatsoever. They're just compelled. You see, they feel this chemical reaction happening and cause them to feel a certain way about some people and they feel like they must treat them well. They must worship them. And then they mistreat some people because that chemical reaction is not happening. Nigga, fuck this shit. It's obvious. It's obvious. It's not obvious to you. I, I don't know, man. Like, honestly, I don't know. But you, you cannot, like, just try to say something negative about antinatalism just try to say something negative about what i've said just try to dispute some of the points that i've made here try try you can't because what i'm saying is the truth is the absolute truth so you have nothing against it at all you're just addicted to this just the same way that if someone is addicted to crack they're not gonna tell you why Craig is good. <laughs> they know it's fucked up, but they're addicted to that shit. So they're gonna, you know, continue to have it. They're gonna continue to get high. Not because getting high is, is good objectively, but because they're addicted to that shit. It's chemical reactions, dude. And we all know how, we all know that it's fucked up. We all know that it's fucked up. We all know falling in love is fucked up. You remember that song by J.D. Lopez featuring Lil Wayne? You got it and I could not defend it. I tried but I had to... Like, the way that she's talking about it, it's like she kind of doesn't want to fall in love, but it's so far powerful for her. You see, she, 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 she met this attractive guy and, you know, he's making her fall in love with her. It, this reminds me of this other movie of her. She fell in love with this um guy that was younger than her. You know, she was married to someone and she just saw this guy, he, he was a neighbor, and she just fell in love with him and she 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 ended up she ended up cheating with him. But she didn't really want to do it. She just fell in love with him. You know, she became powerless. So that's how you know that this shit is fucking fucked up. It's not really a choice. You're not chilling out there and be like, yeah, I want to fall in love with this person. No. That's not how it happens. You just find yourself automatically falling in love with people. And we know that we gotta fight this shit. And we do try to fight this shit. We just lose. Because evolution is powerful. So this fucking shit is evil, man. There's nothing that you can say. 
there's nothing that you can say to really you know dispute what i'm saying what what can you say like honestly man i i, I want a person who's not an internationalist to try to uh, defend nationalist please try please try you can't <laughs> thank you guys man thank you all for watching thank you